Are you ready for the Word of God? Let me know in the comment section below kung kayo po ay handa ng makinig ng salita ng ating Panginoon. Hands up nga po sa lahat na ready na na makinig ng salita ng Panginoon. I have a very encouraging word mga kapatid para po sa bawat isa sa atin. Alam nyo, alam ko mga kapatid na bilang Kristiyano, marami na ho kayong narinig na messages about Resurrection Sunday. But I believe that the Word of God is always fresh. So if you, amen, if you believe mga kapatid that the word of God can change us, why don't you join me join me mga kapatid this afternoon and allow the word of God to read you. Allow the word of God to change your life. So once again, are you ready for the word? I am ready to preach this. Are you ready to receive God's word this afternoon? Buksan po natin ang ating mga Bibles sa Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 7. Luke 24 verses 1 to Seven. As I put it, but very early on Sunday morning, the woman went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. They found that the stone had been rolled away. What a good news. Stone has been rolled away from the entrance. So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as they stood there, puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them clothed in dazzling robes. The women were terrified and bowed with their faces on the ground. Then the man asked, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He is not here. He is risen. Can you comment that down below, mga kapatid? If you believe that Jesus is alive, He's not here. He is risen from the dead. And remember what He told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and that He would rise again on the third day. I would like to talk to you about on this subject, He is risen. It's not a fancy title, mga kapatid, but I believe this is so true that our Lord God is risen. Can you tell it to your neighbor? Can you comment down below? Jesus is alive. He is risen. Ano ka mga kapatid tayo mga Pilipino, sayo, sanay tayo kapag Holy Week mga kapatid is a holiday vacation season. But uh, it's interesting in this generation and in this year, eh, parang ever since bago pa tong mag-start yung Holy Week, eh, tayo po ay nakabakasyon na. But, but nevertheless, I want to remind you mga kapatid that Passion Week or Holy Week if you may, it's not just a holiday. This is a very special occasion mga kapatid because the cross happens at this week. Sa pamamagitan ng mga araw na ito, napapaalala ho sa atin ang ginawa ni Kristo sa bawat isa sa atin. That through the cross, there has been a divine exchange. Na meron tayong debt. We owe a debt that we could not pay. But somebody, through the, uh, through the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, Pay that price, mga kapatid. We were once lost. We were once broken. We were once blind. But through the love of Christ and through His power and grace, Jesus came for you. Hindi tayo ang umakyat sa langit, pero yung langit mismo ang bumaba para sa bawat isa sa atin. And mind you, mga kapatid, 2,000 years ago, when Jesus came, ang kanyang mission ay hindi political. The mission of our Lord Jesus Christ is not political, but actually spiritual. 2,000 years ago, back then, ang ini-expect ng mga Jewish people ay eh, yung Messiah darating na inaantay nila for hundreds of years already. Ang akala nila itong Messiah na darating is a political leader. Akala nila itong Messiah darating ay magliligtas sa kanila mula sa pananakop o bandage ng Roman soldiers o ng Roman Empire. Pero hindi nila alam mga kapatid na nung dumating ang ating Panginoong Yesus, ang Messiah mga kapatid, ang kanilang inaantay for more than uh, for hundreds of years, wala silang kamalay-malay na sila ay sasagapin ng Panginoon sa mas matinding bandage which is a bandage of sin. At itong pinakamagandang balita para sa bawat isa sa atin na maaring ikaw ngayon you feel guilty, you feel ashamed at ikaw ay nahihiya sa ating Panginoon. Let me just remind you mga kapatid, Jesus came 2,000 years ago. Si Jesus ay pumunta dito sa ating lugar 2,000 years ago, not as a judge, but as a savior. Kung ikaw ay makasalanan at si Jesus pumunta rito bilang judge, we are in trouble. But thank God, He came here not as a judge, but as a savior. That is a good news for a sinner like you and me. Kung tayo ay makasalanan, magandang balita mga kapatid na si Jesus ay pumunta rito para tayong lahat ay iligtas. And 2,000 years ago mga kapatid, He was hanged on the cross for 6 hours from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Alam niyo, interesting kapag ka nanunood kayo ng mga Passion of the Christ 
Christ movie o kung kayo po ay nagbabasa ng scripture, there are some parts habang si Jesus ay nakapako sa krus na ang sinasabi ng ibang tao, oh, akala ko ba siya ang mesaya? Oh, akala ko ba si Jesus na yan ay Diyos? Bakit hindi niya kayang iligtas ang kanyang sarili? Na ang tanong ng mga taong nandoon siguro sa kanilang isipan or even the disciples marahil, ang kanilang iniisip, why is he not doing anything? Kung siya talaga ay mesaya, nagpagaling siya ng mga bulag, pinalakad niya ang mga pilay, and even si Lazarus na patay, binuhay niya. Why can't he save himself? Why is he not doing anything? Bakit wala siyang ginagawa? And maybe at this point in our life, pwedeng iniisip ninyo, bakit nga ba ang Diyos parang walang ginagawa sa COVID-19? Parang ang Diyos, bakit hindi niya ini-exercise yung kanyang kapangyarihan sa nangyayari sa ating mundo? Let me just remind you mga kapatid, I know, alam niyo na to, but let me just remind you this. God is always intentional. Everything has a purpose. I say that again. God is always intentional. Can you put that in a comment section? God is always intentional. I cannot see your face, but I can see your comments. Can you leave a comment down below? God is always intentional. Everything has a purpose. Watch this, watch this. So, when He does something, He has a purpose. And when He does nothing, He has a purpose. It may look nothing to you. It may look like a dead end. Kung ang sitwasyon mo may look nothing to you. It may look like hopeless to you. It may look like a dead end to you. It may look like an, an, an impossible situation. It may look like that God is not doing anything about this virus. But let me just tell you this, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord because it may, it may look nothing. Praise the Lord because it may look nothing but God is doing something. He has a purpose. Uh, ang, ang, ang challenge sa atin ng ating Panginoon in times like this is to always be faithful and trust God no matter what. Kung si Abraham ay nagantay ng 25 years at kailangang maging 100 years old pa siya bago, bago ipanganak si Isaac, ang promised son. Kung saan si Noah, mga kapatid, ay nagantay ng 120 years to build the ark and for the flood, flood to came. Nagantay si Noah 120 years. Ang mga Israelites nasa journey in the desert for 40 years. And actually, if you read the Bible, talagang sinadya pa ng Lord na padaanin sila sa long route going to the promised land. Which made me realize, mga kapatid, all the more na kailangan tayong magtiwala sa ating Panginoon because God has a purpose for everything. Kung may ginagawa ang Diyos, may purpose ang Diyos. Kung walang ginagawa ang Diyos, meron pa purpose ang Panginoon. Sometimes, God will change your route to change your heart. Sometimes, idadaan tayo ng Panginoon sa mga masali, muot na parte ng ating buhay kasi gusto tayong baguhin ng ating Panginoon. And there Jesus is. There Jesus was. 2,000 years ago, He was crucified for 6 hours. But finally, after 6 hours, He finally cried out. See that? May purpose eh. He finally cried out. Tetelestai! It is finished. It is done. Actually, sa mas mababaw na English, it's a done deal. It's already done. Parang kapag ikaw ay nagpapaaral at yung anak mo graduate na, Tetelestai! It's done! And I believe that phrase, it is finished, is the greatest proclamation ever made to man. I don't know about you, but I believe that is the greatest proclamation ever made to all of us. Who would have thought, mga kapatid, na yung sinabi ng ating Panginoon na it is finished, yung Tetelestai, mga kapatid, will echo, amen, will continue to echo all around the world. Hanggang ngayon, mga kapatid, more than 2,000 years later, we are still uh, hearing that phrase, it is done, it is finished. Why, mga kapatid? Yung salitang it is finished, yung salitang done deal, it is done, ang mga salitang ito ay reminder that all sufferings will end. It is a reminder that all hardship, gano man kahirap ang buhay, this too shall pass. It will end. That is a, that is a bad, bad day. That is a bad day, 2,000 years ago. It was a horrible day. Jesus died on a Friday, by the way. And, and we call it Good Friday. I, I don't, I, actually, kung ako lang masusunod, nung una, I don't want to vote na pangalan siya Good Friday. It was a bad Friday. It was a terrible Friday. It was a horrific Friday. Mas maganda yata yung horrible Friday. Because Jesus died on that day Friday. But you know what? It's called Good Friday. Listen to me. This is a revelation. It's called Good Friday because it led to Resurrection Sunday. At ang binasa natin kanina mga kapatid sa Luke 24, on a Sunday morning, ang sabi ng angel dun sa mga young women na pumunta dun sa tomb, why are you looking for the, why are you looking among the dead 
for someone who is alive. Ang sabi ng angel, He is not here. He is alive. Yung title natin ngayon, Jesus is alive. He is risen from the dead. That itself is a revelation. That itself, mga kapatid, is a phrase that some of you needed, mga kapatid. Your God is not dead. Jesus is not dead. Hindi sinabing Jesus was alive. He is alive. At present, buhay ang ating Panginoon. The tomb is empty. Magandang reminder na naman, mga kapatid. Ang mga building ng church ngayon, empty, but the tomb is empty as well. He is not here. He is risen, mga kapatid. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng Good Friday may lead to Resurrection Sunday. The crucifixion does and end in death. Crucifixion ends in resurrection. The weeping may end in joy. The mourning will turn into dancing. The dark God, God will bring you from darkness to light, from labor to favor, from death to life, mga kapatid, from lack to abundance, from sickness to health, from bondage to freedom. God will bring you to places that you've never been because through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, pinapaalala sa atin ng Panginoon, ang Diyos ay makapangyarihan and He has a purpose for everything. Ano mang Good Friday moments na pinagdadaanan natin, loss of a loved one, relationship issue, hindi po natatapos dyan ang lahat. May resurrection Sunday, mga kapatid. There is a time, mga kapatid, where we will experience God's generosity, God's provision, God's healing and God's power. Ang Resurrection Sunday ay nagpapatunay ng kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoong Yesus. The resurrection proved His deity. If you think about it, that cross shows Jesus as a man. But the resurrection showed us that Jesus is God. You have to be reminded, your God is alive. Your God is risen. The King is is alive. And the gospel is not a gospel without the resurrection. If there is no resurrection, our declaration of Jesus is worthless. It's meaningless. In fact, kung si Jesus hindi nabuhay na maguli, He will lose His credibility. Amen? And we all know that. But the big question is this. I'm gonna show you three things. Kasi maraming, maaaring tinatanong nyo, Pastor, I've been celebrating Resurrection Sunday for almost every year. Kahit nga nasa bakasyon ako, nasa beach ako eh. I always make time to reflect that Jesus is alive. But what does it mean to me? That's a good question. What does it mean to us that Jesus rose again from the dead? Marami akong pwedeng i-share sa inyo. But I want to be as practical as possible. So I want to show you three things, mga kapatid, na pwede pong maipaalala sa bawat isa sa atin. I, show, I say that again. I want to show you three things na magpapaalala ho sa atin every time dumadaan tayo sa Resurrection Sunday. I hope that this reminds you of these things. Number one, the Resurrection Sunday reminds us that all sufferings will end. I say that again. The Resurrection Sunday reminds us that all sufferings will end. I said that earlier. All Good Fridays, all the sufferings, all the pain, all the sickness through our Lord Jesus Christ will experience transformation, will experience resurrection. Ano mang dry bones, ano mang dead situation, dead goals, dead passion in your life, all Good Fridays will lead to Resurrection Sunday. All trials will lead to triumph. All testings will lead to testimony. And all mess will lead to messages. Ano mga kapatid, for so many years, we have been a slave of sin. Satan had our past. Tayo ikinongkar, ng ating emosyon, ng ating kaaway, at ni Satan. Satan had our past. But with God, your future is bright. I say that again. That's a good news for some of you. Your future is bright because of Jesus Christ. When we look back on our history, when we look back on our past, wag kayong lilingon sa nakaraan bilang inyong destination. No, that's not your destination. Your past is not your destination. Your past could be your inspiration but not a destination. Your past, again, your past is not your destination. It will be, it can be your inspiration. Bakit mga kapatid? Mas ma-appreciate natin ang Resurrection Sunday dahil sa Good Friday. Right? So we appreciate the resurrection because we see Jesus, we saw Jesus died on the cross. That's why we're so happy. That's why we're celebrating because Jesus was dead, but now He is alive. So, ganun din sa ating buhay, mga kapatid. Your story is better when you experience struggle. Ang kwento natin mas maganda kapag may mga Good Friday moments. At kapag naka-experience tayo ng Resurrection Sunday, ng Resurrection Moments na ating buhay, we will tend to 
uh, appreciate God more because of His power and His grace. Ibig sabihin, kung may peklat ka man, mga kapatid, yung peklat na yan has a story to tell. Lahat ng peklat may kwento. Yung peklat ko dito may kwento. At kung ikaw ay may mga scars in your life, battle scars, o maaring emotional scars, all of these things, mga kapatid, has a story to tell. Pero what, what made a good story, mga kapatid? It's the struggle that we've faced. It's the pain that we've experienced. Naalala ko nung ako'y bata pa, mga kapatid, madalas akong mabigyan ng medalya. No? Um, parang di yata agree iba sa inyo. Duda yata kayo. <laughs> I mean, lalo nung elementary ako, halos uh, every year, no, meron kaming uh, medal na natatanggap and meron tinatawag na recognition day kung saan sasabitan ka ng medalya ng iyong mga magulang. It was a proud moment. It is a proud moment. Kapag ikaw ay sinasabitan ng medalya ng iyong magulang, tag nyo nga yung mga kaibigan nyo na nakaranas na na masabitan ng medalya. Amen? Hindi tansyan, ha? Tunay na medalya. <laughs> Amen? So, it's, it was a, it is a proud moment kapag sinasabitan ka ng medalya. Hindi lang sa magulang mo, kundi ikaw mismo. Pero yun, nung, nung, nung nag-college ako at nung nagkatrabaho na ako at one time na ngailangan akong bumili ng medal para sa, I don't know, kung for some reason, and pumunta ako dun sa binibilhan ng medalya, nagulat ako kasi yung medalya pala, ang presyo lang, 10 piso isa. Actually, kung, kung wholesale pa nga, makakabili ka ng 6 lang. Or even sometimes lesser, 6 pesos for that medal. Iniyakan mo pa yun. Nung sinabit, proud moment ka, pero 10 piso lang yun. Pero it's not about the medal. See? It's, hindi to patungkol sa medal at sa presyo ng medalya. It's all about the struggles that you've been through. Yung pagsisikap mo para makamit yung medalya na yun. Yung recognition ng mga tao at na-recognize nila lahat ng effort mo. So what made the story effective? What made the story good? Is the struggles that we face. Sometimes mga kapatid, mahirap maniwala sa provision ng Diyos dahil sa ating thinking. Dahil sa uh, uh, pinagdadaanan natin, parang Lord, parang gusto ko na sumuki in all of that. And sometimes it's hard to believe in an unlimited God because we have a limited strength, limited time, limited resources, and living in a limited world. Pagka tinitig mo, look at our resources, Pastor. Look at these uh, uh, available resources. Look at the time that we have. Pagka member, a leader ka naman ng church, Lord, look at the volunteers that we have. Our finite mind limits the infinite God. Limits the supernatural God. But let me just tell you this, mga kapatid. The Resurrection Sunday will remind you that all sufferings will end. That struggle will end. This COVID-19, this pandemic will end. Amen? Number two, Resurrection Sunday reminds us that with God, all things are possible. That itself can preach, mga kapatid. With God, all things are pagka, pagka resurrection Sunday ipinapaalala sa atin ng Panginoon walang imposible sa Diyos. Let me just establish this. God is beyond time and space. Hindi bound ang Diyos sa oras. He is the resurrection and He is the life. And with God, nothing shall be impossible. Always remind that. So whatever is going through, so, okay, let me rephrase. So do not allow, if, if God is not bound by time and space, if He is the Alpha and the Omega, if, if He is the beginning and the end, do not ever allow what's going on in the world to affect what's going on with your heart. Sa mga panahon na parang ikaw ay nasa limit na, when you are at your limit, when you feel like quitting, you, when you feel like giving up, when you feel like you, you want to throw in the towel, always remind yourself, the best is yet to come. Always remind yourself, with God, all things shall be impossible. What made the difference? What changed, Pastor? Ano na bago? It's just your perspective. You still face the same problem, the same Goliath, the same Jericho wall, but you have a different perspective. Perspective is everything. Mindset is everything. And when you are in the resurrection Sunday, mga kapatid, it always reminds you, matindi man ang mga Jericho wall, malalaki man ang mga Goliath, but with my God, nothing shall be impossible. It's all about perspective. Kung ikaw ay restaurant owner, at nakita mo ang restaurant mong punong-puno, it's just a perspective. Anong makikita mo? Anong nakikita mo? Limitasyon? Na wala na kayong upuan? Or it is an opportunity for expansion? So it's all about your perspective. Is it a limitation or an opportunity for expansion? So whatever you are going through, it is just our perspective. Kapag ikaw ay dumadaan sa matinding problema, kung ikaw ay na-diagnose with a terminal sick sickness, kung ikaw ay dumaranas ng financial difficulty o ng bankruptcy, anong tingin mo rito? Is it a dead end or an obstacle? The same issue, different perspective. Bakit mga kapatid? Your mind will say, 
it is impossible. Mag-quit ka na, sumuko ka na. But the Word of God is saying, nothing shall be impossible with our God. He is a God that can part the Red Sea. He's the same God who put coins, mga kapatid, sa bibig ng isda. He's the same God that raised the very dead, four-day dead Lazarus, mga kapatid. He is also the same God that hold the universe at the palm of His hands. It makes no sense, makes perfect sense, because God is in it. The nonsense makes perfect sense when God is always in it. A -a -a ang fear, nalilimitahan tayo. Ang doubt, nalilimitahan tayo. Ang worry, nalilimitahan tayo. In fact, the sin in our heart will limit you. Pero ang just natin, nothing shall be impossible. He's not bound by time and space. Even your worst sin, see that? Cannot stop God. No limitation. Cannot stop God from loving you. The forgiveness is available. Ang kapatawaran ay willing ibigay sa iyo ng just for free. So kung ikaw ay nasa tipping point, di mo alam ang gagawin. Ang limitation mo mga kapatid is an opportunity for you to grow. Your limit is an opportunity for you to trust God even more. Bakit mga kapatid? Kapag tayo ay nahihirapan, gustong sumuko, natatakot, ano sinasabi ng Lord? Don't be afraid. Ano sinasabi ng Lord? Stand still. Ano sinasabi ng Panginoon? Magtiwala ka sa akin. Para sabihin ng Lord, magtiwala ako sa iyo. Alam mo ba sitwasyon ko? Lord, wag ako matakot. Nakakatakot ang sitwasyon. Lord, stand still. Anong gagawin ko kailangan? Lagi tayo may ganun. But always remind, remind yourself, mga kapatid, God has enough vantage point. He, God has enough perspective para sabihin sa iyo, don't be afraid. Kasi hawak ng Diyos ang ating future. He is not bound by time and space. So, God can do through you what you cannot do for yourself. So, kung hindi mo kayang gawin, kayang gawin ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan mo. Ano mga kapatid? I have never thought na ako'y gagamitin ng Lord para magsalita not just 200 but literally thousands of people. I cannot imagine that this is going to happen. I cannot imagine na tatayo ako sa inyong harapan. Tinukso ko na walang mararating. Sinabihan ako na wala akong, wala akong kakayanan. Sinabihan ako na mongoloid, uh, alien, pamilya. Marami silang itinukso sa akin. And I've never thought. See that? I've never thought. Thinking. I've never thought that God can use me. It's just my thinking. I used to believe hindi ako kayang gamitin ng Panginoon. And thinking is very important. Because if you think that it is impossible, if you think that God can do anything, <laughs> it's a dead end. Amen? It's, a, it's your thinking. So if you think me joker, you will settle for mediocrity. If you think me joker, you will settle for mediocre relationship. You will settle for mediocre opportunity. You will settle for mediocre confidence. And you will settle for mediocre life. But you have to remind yourself, if God is resurrected from the grave, if Jesus was risen and He is alive, amen, you can do more because you are designed for more. It's just your thinking. God designed you for more. You are an overcomer. You are chosen. You are anointed. You are validated, accepted. You are approved. Sabi nga ni Joel Austin, not average, not mediocre, but children of the Most High. If you don't think that way, you won't live that way. Ang physical body, may limitation. Sa physical body, may imposible. Ang pasensya, may limitasyon. Ang finance, finances, may limitation. But hey, 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 it's Resurrection Sunday. It reminds us that all things are possible. So kung wala, kung ang finances may limitasyon, tinitignan mo yung mga stock mong pagkain, pastor, hindi na to aabot, wala pa kaming sweldo, wala pa binibigay ang gobyerno in all of that. And I can understand what you feel. But it's Resurrection Sunday. It is a reminder that all things are possible. So kung wala ng pera, it is an opportunity for God to supply some more. So ibig sabihin, no more is an opportunity for some more. You have to see your life the way God sees your life. Kung wala na, it is an opportunity para bigyan tayo ng ating Panginoon. Because this Resurrection Sunday reminds us that all sufferings will end. Number two, that with God all things are possible. And which leads me to my third point. Resurrection Sunday reminds us that Jesus' victory is your victory. Ang katagumpayan ni Jesus ay katagumpayan mo din. Ang sabi ng scripture, as He is, so are you in this world. As Jesus is, so are we. 
Sabi nga ni Paul, I am crucified with Christ. I love that. Because ibig sabihin nun, my sin is crucified with Christ. My shame is crucified with Christ. My guilt is crucified with Christ. My fear, my worries, my sickness, the curses are all crucified with Christ. Jesus overcame death. Ang sabi nga ng Romans 6, Death, where is your sting? Death has no hold on Him. Hindi na tayo dapat matakot sa kamatayan, mga kapatid. Because in reality, ah, lagi kong kinukwento, no, binabanggit, kapag tayo nagbe-birthday, ibig sabihin lang nun, mas malapit na tayong mamatay. We are not aging. We are dying. Alam niyo kung bakit takot, takot tayo sa virus? Because we are afraid of death. But in reality, we will all die at some point. We're not just aging, we're dying. But look at what Jesus has done. The greatest victory is the victory over death. And has, as He is, so are you in this world. As Jesus is, so are you in this world. Jesus is and will always be victorious. So are you. You are victorious not because you are good, magaling, uh, may pinag-aralan. May, no, 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 no. You are victorious because Jesus is victorious. You can live victorious here on earth. As He is, so are we. Look at this. In this world. Kahit nasa earth ka pa, you can live victorious life. Hindi mo kailangang antayin mapunta ka sa langit para maranasan ng victory. You are victorious today. You are blessed today. And your blessedness is not based on your condition. May laman ng, no, 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 no. May laman ng ATM, may laman ng wallet. No, your blessedness is not based on your condition, but it's based on your position. And as long as you are in Christ, you are blessed. You are prosperous. You are victorious. It's not about what other people say to you. Hindi ito patungko sa sinasabi ng kaibigan mo, ng kapamilya mo, ng kapatid mo. No, no, no. It's not about what other people are saying to you that you are not victorious, that you are not blessed. No, it's not their conclusion. It's God's confirmation. Jesus won the victory. Jesus came out of the grave. Think about that. Think about that. I can feel it in my spirit. Jesus came out of the grave. As He is, so am I. So if Jesus came out of the grave, you can come out of your depression. If Jesus came out of the grave, you can come out of your anxiety. If Jesus came out of the grave, you can come out of your insecurity. You can come out of that poverty. You can come out of that sickness. You can come out of that fear. Lazarus, come out. Lazarus, come forth. Jesus overcame the grave. You can overcome whatever circumstance. You can come out of this COVID-19 unharmed. You can come out of this fire unharmed. Pastor, hindi ba arrogance? No, no, no. His victory is your victory. His death is your victory. His death is our victory. His victory over death is my victory over sin. His victory over death is my victory over my financial struggle. Ooh. His victory over death is my victory over sickness. His victory over death is my victory over struggle. My, his victory over death is my victory over pain, over poverty. Whatever circumstance I am in, as He is, so am I. This Resurrection Sunday reminds me that Jesus' victory is my victory. And before we end, Bago tayo pumunta sa ating communion, pupunta po tayo sa ating communion just a little bit. Maybe you were asking that question. Pastor, I want that three things. I want to be reminded that all sufferings will end. I want to be reminded that nothing shall be impossible to God. I want to be reminded, Pastor, that Jesus' victory is also my victory. What must I do? Anong pwede kong gawin para maranasan ko ang lahat ng bagay na ito? That's an interesting question because if you read your Bible, you, you will be reminded about this rich young ruler who asked the same question. I want that eternal life, but what must I do? I want to experience the abundance, but what must I do? Can you imagine this? His rich young ruler. Wala ka nang eh. Rich, mayaman. Young, you have, the, you have the strength. And you are a ruler, you have authority. Ano pa bang kailangan mo? And yet, this abundance, this power and this in this youthfulness cannot satisfy him so he's asking the question what must i do or maybe if you are a christian you are asking the question what can i do para ipakita ko sa lord na mahal ko siya ah, ah, kailangan ko bang kumanta ng mas malakas magfasting ng mas matagal magbasa ng mas maraming chapters sa biblia no my friend no 
is not about what you can do for God. It's all about what Jesus did for us. That He came, died, buried, rose again from the dead for you and for me. Pinalikuran mo ang Diyos, pero hindi ka tinalikuran ng ating Panginoon. He loves you. He is always with you. He is with you when you are healthy. And He will always be with you when you are sick. He is with you in your success. But He will always be with you in your failure. He is with you in your wow days. But He is also with you in your ow days. He is with you on your Sundays. But He is also with you on your Mondays. It's not about the religion that I'm offering you. I'm offering you a relationship with Jesus. Restored relationship if you may. Because religion will make you will make you proud of yourself. But the gospel will make you proud of your Savior. The religion will say, get out, you're not qualified here. But but the gospel says, you are not qualified, but come in. Jesus paid it all for you and for me. And I want to encourage you, my friend, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or maybe you are a Christian and you want to restore your relationship with God, I want to invite you, mga kapatid, in this very special Resurrection Sunday, it is a reminder, whatever you are going through, your suffering will end. Whatever you are going through, nothing is impossible with God. Whatever you are going through, mga kapatid, Jesus' victory is your victory. And God wants to offer, I want, you to, I want to offer you a relationship with Jesus Christ. Let Him come into your heart and be a God and a Savior and a Lord in your life. If you are that person, I don't know whom, I, whom I'm talking to, maybe you are in a different part of the world and you need Jesus, you know for yourself na kailangan mo si Kristo. You know that you cannot live without Jesus. You know that Jesus was the best thing that ever happened to you pero kinalimutan mo siya. I would like to invite you into a prayer. Let us accept again Jesus Christ as our Lord. Let us, let us be reminded, mga kapatid, what Jesus has done in our life. So if you want Jesus to be the center of your life, if you want Jesus to be the driver of your life, I want to encourage you, mga kapatid, right at this very moment, to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Kung ikaw to, kapatid, wherever you are, nakaupo ka sa sala mo, wherever you are, mga kapatid, I want you, ngayong araw na ito, to pray this prayer, repeat after me, and pray it, say it like you mean it. Let us pray. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa araw na ito. Salamat dahil alam ko na ikaw ay mapagmahal. Binigay mo ang iyong sarili para sa akin. Sa oras na ito, I acknowledge makasalanan ako at hindi ko kayang iligtas ang aking sarili. Sa oras na ito, nagdesisyon ako na buksan ang aking puso, pumasok ka at maging Panginoon ng aking buhay. Marami pong salamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. And if you pray that prayer, I believe you got born again, mga kapatid. What a wonderful, amazing time. And if you pray that prayer, will you send us a message, maybe send us an email, send us a picture, or leave a comment below because we want to celebrate with you. If you are a Christian, mga kapatid, let us clap our hands and celebrate for these people of everything that Jesus has done. This Resurrection Sunday reminds us walang kahit anong kasalanan ang pwede makapagpahiwalay sa atin sa Panginoon kasi ang Diyos lagi nagaantay sa ating muling pagbabalik. Pwede po ba ninyong itaas ang inyong dalawang kamay and receive the blessing from our God? Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Each day and each night that you place yourself under His keeping, I declare, You shall not be forgotten. You shall not be destroyed. You shall not be imprisoned. And you shall not be harassed by evil powers. All together, sabayan po ninyo ako. Bless this house and those within. Bless our giving in our receiving. Bless our words in our conversation. Bless our hands in our recreation. Bless our sowing in our growing. Bless our coming in our going. Bless all who enter and depart. Bless this house your peace in part. The Lord will watch over you from this time and forever. May the love in your hearts give you joy. May the greatness of life bring you peace. And may your days be good, lives be long. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine on you. Be gracious to you. Turn His face toward you and give you peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, mga kapatid. Once again, I want to invite you live right now, GSCMNB Family, para sa ating Facebook Live group discussion. Pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. See you again on Sunday. Punuin natin ang langit. Let us fight 
for our family.